what's up rap babes welcome back to another vlog <laughs> it's your girl Amir Ali if you're new here welcome to the rap babes don't forget to like comment and subscribe y'all we are about to head out because I need to go get my nails done uh, my nails are looking horrendous right now I need to go get my nails my feet done I also need to go get my eyebrows done and then yeah that's pretty much it because I already got my eyelashes done two days ago after work which helped me so much um my lash tech took me late at night so it kind of like eliminated like four or five hours well like four I'm dragging it yeah like four hours because I get a removal and a whole new set so right now what I'm doing is I just got up I got dressed I got myself together I have on this cute little, little lemon set I'm about to head out to go get my nails done well tomorrow is my dad's birthday but I will be traveling this weekend so this is gonna be a little maintenance get ready with me for my travel weekend it's gonna be like a Galentine's weekend slash event it, it's, it's just a lot going on this weekend we gonna talk more about it later but um tomorrow is my dad's birthday but because i won't be here i'm gonna go be meeting up with my parents to go get some lunch and stuff like that so i also need to go stop by and get his gift um i also need to go to the mall and get melody and janae their gift because i'm gonna be seeing them this weekend and we're gonna be like having a little girls weekend so um yeah i gotta go stop at the mall get them their gift then i gotta come home i need to wash my makeup brushes i need to pack i need to try on a few things well, also when i go to the mall i need to return some stuff because I have bought some stuff they did not fit girl so yeah it's just a lot that we need to do today I'm packing up my bag right now I have my gum lip gloss hand cream I got a brush mm. I always need some lip more lip gloss I have my summer Fridays my Fenty AirPods of course I need a spoolie I'm about to fill up my water and I out. so much to do okay I got my wallet, brush, I'm about to just put on my jacket and head out because we gotta go, it's 9 o'clock and my nail appointment is at 11, but I wanted to get to the nail salon at 10 so that, um, which you call it, I can at least do my toes because I need to be meeting with my parents by 1, and the guy that does my nails, I'm not gonna lie, y'all, he's a little slow. He just a little slow so and i want to do a takeoff like i want to take these off i want to get my nails a little longer so he takes a minute and i want to give him the time to like you know he takes a minute but he does a good job so i just want to let him you know do his thing i want to take these off the shape i'm just oh i need everything done so anyway yeah we're about to head out so i'm gonna check in with y'all once we start this maintenance day and then later on i'm gonna talk to y'all about this trip and everything etc etc Pull up, black boy, hop out Shout out to my mother and my father, they can pull out MSG sell out, fucking with the gap out Whips on whips, my ancestors got the back side Two, four, five, hundred stacks for the hood Call me on the back, cause I wish a nigga would Press through it like I, it's the wish a nigga good face They ain't getting paper like they should wait Niggas ain't really on, they crack the shitty on I hit Drizzy and told him I had a million for him All my company for him, told him to keep the loan I took that gold bitch home, niggas big mad I put that bitch on the shelf, so I ain't late and bought another car Cause I ain't know how to celebrate That good boy, that big bitch for all weather Never rain in Cali, came with an umbrella Rose worst pull up, black boy hop out Shout out to my mother and my father, they can pull out The man shit sell out, fuck the little gap out Good credit score, this car really can't max out Two, four, five, and a stack to go to hell Call me Lumber Jack, cause I wish you never would This is a bitch of face, man, I wish you never would It's different, it's really different Catch up, man! Hey y'all, so I just got my nails done. I had to stop at the mall real quick to get my dad a little gift. Yeah, my car is so dirty. I actually really need to go get it like detailed. This is actually disgusting, but I stopped at King's Plaza real quick to get my dad a little birthday gift. Y'all, I don't know, but like Brooklyn has changed so much. I don't know if it's just me, but Brooklyn has changed so much. Every time I go to King's Plaza, which is very rare because that mall never has anything, I always feel like it's always something new like i see they have a shake shack in there now i'm like what like what is going on i even see that they had a um they have a zara 
I'm okay. I haven't been to King's Falls in a minute, but anyway, I'm here. We're at a restaurant called The Door. I think it's in Queens. And uh, we're about to go in and eat. My dad does not know that, like, I'm going to be here. It's a surprise. He thinks that, like, him and my mom was just having, like, a regular day or whatever. Um, I, like, I don't know. I don't know what they thought. But he just called me. and We were on the phone, like, nothing. Like, he was driving with my mom, acting like nothing. Like, I don't think he knows. So we're about to go inside. I'm about to get the table because I actually see my mom pulling up right now. And I got to pee. So, yeah, it's going to be a surprise. Anyway, let's go. Yeah, I'm not having I'm not having I'm not I'm not having I'm not I'm not i that we are proud of our baby, 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 baby. Definitely proud of my princess. <laughs> you know that. Hey, uh, Miss Westy, it's your best. Bye, my bye, bye. <laughs> bye, bye, bye. bye, bye. <laughs> Nurse Brat is Mom, my baby. Please. <laughs> <laughs> our food looks great. Okay, yeah. we're about to pray and eat. Yeah. Pray and hey, y'all. So. I'm home. It's been such a long day. It's almost seven o'clock, and the only thing I ate was when I went out with my parents. So I thought I'd show you guys everything that I got today. I am going to go shower, eat, fix up my hair, and start packing. So much I had to do tonight because my flight is tomorrow at 6 a.m., which means I need to be out of here basically in a few hours. Okay, I need to shower, I need to do my skincare, I need to try on some clothes, I need to pack. Um, I need to wash my makeup brushes. I need to get their gifts together. Like, it's just so much that I have to do. And I just feel like it's just not enough time. But I'm going to show you guys everything that I got. Because there's a few things here, y'all. There's a few things. What I'm really most excited about excited about is my Skims package. Um, where is my topical lip gloss, y'all? Because I just opened a new one. Like, what? Found it. So there's a lot of things that we need to go through. I ordered some stuff from Fashion Nova. I ordered some stuff from... Um, skims i ordered some stuff i got some stuff from sephora um, most of my stuff came from fashion nova i did order some stuff from lululemon and it's so crazy that after i ordered it i started to see all the allegations about like the racism and stuff that was going on because once i came across that and then the package came and i tried it on and it didn't fit i was like see how god just don't play you see how god just don't play okay nothing fit nothing fit me I had to go and return everything today because i was working and my schedule was all over the place there will be no lululemon try on or anything like that today unfortunate well fortunately duh um so yeah no try on haul for them i returned everything that i got from them the stuff that i do have from them i'm gonna keep um obviously because i don't even think you could return it i feel like it's way too late i had them for for a minute and actually it's so crazy that i just found this headband um not too long ago but yeah y'all mm -mm, mm -mm. and I, I spent like 400 something no, i spent almost 500 dollars on these sets yeah that everything went back so the first package is from Skins. OMG. But before I actually show y'all what I got, let me tell y'all exactly what the trip is. So tomorrow, me and Melody will be flying to Dallas. You already know Janae lives in Dallas, so she doesn't have to fly there. She's just waiting for us to come. As I've been on this walk with Christ, I already told you guys um, some podcasts that I listened to. One of them was Soft Life Through Christ. They haven't come out with a new episode in a minute, but put up on all their episodes so quickly. I love them. They're actually having an event in Dallas uh, this weekend. So it's like a woman's event. I don't know if you guys know about Sarah Jakes. It's kind of similar to the events that she has, like women speaking, engagement, empowerment events, that type of thing. So we bought our ticket and it was so crazy how everything just worked out perfectly like it was perfect. So we all got our tickets um, and what else? My flight was actually free because I use Delta all the time. So thank God I had like over 100,000 points that I could use. So yeah, your girl gonna be flying first class for free, manana. <laughs> Girl math, you have to wear pink, which is so perfect because it's Valentine's Day weekend and we didn't get to celebrate Galentine's together. So we'll be doing that this weekend. We're going to be wearing pink. So I bought some stuff from Fashion Nova. I bought a nice little suit. We're going to do a try on haul. I'm going to wash my makeup. Yeah, I just have so much to do in so little time. Like, it's crazy. But um, yeah, so that's the trip this weekend, which I'm super excited about. I went to the mall just to get like some last minute stuff for real. Nothing crazy. 
but I'll show you guys everything. Plus, it's also a celebration of Mel and Janae's birthday because Mel's birthday was February 6th. I didn't get to celebrate with her because she ended up going to Vegas. I think I explained it to y'all in the last vlog that she was going to Vegas, but it was at the time where I was contemplating on doing two jobs, so it didn't work with my schedule. And Janae didn't really want to do anything for her birthday this year. She just really wanted to like celebrate this birthday I guess differently so we all respected it and we didn't get to like celebrate all together and on vacation like we did last year so this is also going to be like a galentine's late birthday celebration for them both so anyway from skims you guys so I've been seeing this robe so they had a pink one and I've been seeing this robe everywhere and I said oh yeah baby I have to have it I'm sorry this will be so tea with my um get ready with me's especially like this weekend oh my gosh y'all the quality is so good I'm about to put it on I'm sorry I gotta put it on yeah I gotta put it on hold on y'all I gotta put it on it looks so crazy I'm about to go put on my brand new two by six wig I'm gonna go fix up the closure because I've been wearing it to work I'm gonna go fix it up, glue it down. All of that will be done after I take a shower and eat some food because I am so hungry. Y'all, yes, what? Cause who said what? Okay, my other robe, don't get me wrong, I ain't switching up on it. I'm not switching up on my other robe or nothing. Why did I cut a piece of my hair off? I'm not switching up, but this is more so, it gives luxury, you get what I'm saying? I love like the sleeves that it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's just. Yeah, this is it. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. What? <laughs> this gives like you open the door when your man is coming. And get... <laughs> but yeah, y'all, this is it. I don't know. I really like it. It's super soft. I love this robe. I got it really oversized because I wanted it to be nice and big. I think this is a 2X. So I wanted it real big and nice. And then I also got some pajamas. So y'all yeah, know, if well, if y'all don't know, I have their black pajamas. Like people could talk about skims dupe, skims dupe. Nothing is going to compare to the original. Like, don't get me wrong, some skims dupes do be fire, but nothing is going to compare to the quality. Like, I've washed those um, pajamas and other sets that I have from them so many times, and you can't even tell. Chef's kiss. So I also got these really cute pink pajamas. Um, it's the top and the pants, and I love skims. Like, going to sleep, normally, I am not the type of girl who could sleep in clothes. I really like to just sleep in my birthday suit, but I've realized when I'm wearing skims, there's times I could fall asleep in my pajamas. That's how soft and comfortable that they are. But most of the time, like, like I said, if I'm wearing like anything to bed, I just need to be completely free when I'm going to sleep. But when I fall asleep with these, it just doesn't even, y'all, it's just so soft. Like it's just so soft. I can't wait to wear these. I don't know if I'm going to take these to Dallas with me because when we're there, I really only be wearing robes for real. So I don't know if I'm taking these with me. But I also wanted to show you guys my gifts. So I had got my lashes done two days ago after work. Um, I think it was like Monday or something. Like that I got them that after work and my lash tech had actually got me a gift y'all it was a Valentine's Day gift she got me a candle this one is mahogany vanilla when I tell y'all this candle is so tea and it's so crazy that I used to work at Bath and Body Works but I always used to be like yo people be feeding for these candles like and I think I just forgot for real I just forgot how good these candles actually are like these candles smell so good I wish I could smell it like look at me giving it to y'all to smell it smells so good and then she got me a washing machine for my makeup brushes. A fun way to clean your makeup brushes and sponges. Fill water, dunk brushes, push and start spinning, drain water with holes, repeat until water is clear. So she got me something to wash my brushes, which is so crazy because I told her I'm about to wash my br my brushes, so I'm going to try it. She had got me also like a uh, spinning, vibrating silicone cleanser. For some reason, I think it's missing a piece um, because I tried to put a battery in, but it was saying that I, I need like a knob and it didn't come with a knob, so I don't know what's going on. But yeah, this is so cute. It's still so thoughtful. Um... She also got me like a little mirror, which is so cute because y'all yeah, know I'm about to be moving soon. So for my vanity or maybe even just like my little mirror, like in my room to do my skincare, I could just put this there. You know what I'm saying? Like a nice little, <laughs> yeah. And then she got me like some candies and some hand sanitizers. I don't know if y'all can see the bottom of the bag, but it was just so cute, so thoughtful. Oh my gosh, tell me a lot of taffy. Naya, you are really one of one. Like seriously, I'm so hungry. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I just roll. This is my new favorite. So next we have Sephora. 
So from Sephora, I got some cotton pads. Honestly, y'all, these are like $5. And at first, when I saw the girls talking about it, I'm like, $5 for cotton pads? Like, are you serious? Y'all, these are so worth it. These are literally the best cotton pads ever. Like, I realized the ones that I was buying and using from like Target, I would need like two, three, four to really like get the feel that I want. But I feel like when I'm using these, I really just need one, whether that's for my facial toner, whether that's for like glycolic acid that I'm putting under my arms or between my legs. Like, you literally just need one. They're, the quality of these are so good, so I got some of those. I also got three Summer Fridays lip gloss, so I got one for me. One for Mel and one for Janae. So y'all know like it was their birthday, which means we have gifts to give. So I got one for me because I love their mint one. Like, I'm sorry, I could never switch up on Summer Fridays. They lip gloss, chef's kiss. And then I got the, so this is the Charlotte Tilbury. Yeah, Charlotte Tilbury, this is their airbrush finish. It's a uh, micro powder. So you know, like I honestly, y'all, I am gonna be doing like an updated makeup routine once I move in and I have my beauty room all set up, or at least halfway set up. But um, I am now seeing that when you are setting your under eye, you're supposed to go in with a powder first and then set it with translucent powder. I did not know that. You learn something new every day. Thank you for TikTok. Um, so I bought the powder. And this is, I actually bought two. I bought the Maybelline one because I love their Fit Me powder. I used that Fit Me powder as foundation like way, way back in the day. Look at me talking about old. <laughs> but I did use it when I was younger, like in high school and college days. Um, so I did get me a, a pair of uh, that powder today, but I also wanted to get the Charlotte Tilbury one because I heard it is so good. So this is the color, it's in the color tan because you should always, you know, get it the same color, obviously, as my under eye. It only comes with four colors. It comes with like a light, a fair, a medium, a tan, and then a, and a deep. I don't know, but either way, this was the second to last one. The other one was like deep and this one was tan, so I just got this one to use for my under eye. Um, and also this was perfect because I haven't done my makeup, y'all. I don't even know when's the last time I did my makeup. I don't even know. So this is gonna really be my first time doing my makeup in a long time. So I said, why not just get some products? I also got the Charlotte, the Charlotte Tilsbury, blah, blah, blah. The Charlotte Tilbury. I got their Airbrush Flawless Finish. Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Pretty all night, pretty all night, stay all day. So you're supposed to put this on before and after your makeup. So I'm gonna try this. Primes and sets for up to 16 hours. No melting, no fading, no creasing. So I will be the judge of that. I also got the One Size Primer. So one thing I really love, I love One Size, y'all. I really do. I love their powder. Like, I would never switch up on their powder. Like, their setting powder is so fire. But this primer, the reason why I wanted it is because it helps with texture. So it says it fills in pores and finds lines. Uh, skin looks and feels smoother. Attracts makeup like a magnet. So, this is the one. And I wanted to get it and see, you know, how I like it. We're going to try it tomorrow. Because we're going to... Actually, if not tomorrow, it's going to be Saturday. Because the event is actually Saturday. I don't think tomorrow any of us are wearing makeup. But anyway, y'all. This House Labs by Lady Gaga Foundation. I'm actually just learning my undertone. I have a cool undertone, which explains why I love silver jewelry. And why I'm always wearing something silver. I never really knew my undertone. I knew there was, like, cool. I knew there was warm. There's, like, a few different types of undertones. I really never knew mine. But when I was in Sephora today, thank you for Selena, who actually took the time out to help me and speak to me and like educate me on these things and when we did this color match y'all this is in the color 490 medium deep with a cool undertone I don't know if you guys can see it but when I tell y'all this looks like my skin it was almost scary it was literally y'all I should have left it on while I was in there to show you I didn't bring my camera because I knew I was going to Louis Vuitton you know how they get in my bag was real small but y'all when I try this on Saturday y'all gonna see fire the last thing i got was the paula's choice skin perfecting bha liquid exfoliant so i always wanted to try paula's choice i just get really scared because there's so many products that i use that say do not use in conjunction with ahas bha blah 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 so i'm just gonna have to do my research on when i can include that into my routine because y'all know i use dr dennis gross exfoliating pads and i don't want my skin to be on fire now okay I got some stuff from Louis Vuitton. So these are actually gifts for Mel and Janae. So I don't want to open it. Obviously, this got, these are their gifts. This one is for Janae. I got her a bracelet. Janae always talked about wanting um, 
more designer jewelry i don't even think she has any i think she just told me like she just wants it she mentioned it out of nowhere so you know everything that my friends say i kind of just keep a mental note and i was like you know what i'm gonna get her a bracelet we got her last summer fridays because she loves it and i also got her uh a devotional book so she always said like, every time she sees me reading my devotional when we're on the phone or something she'll be like oh my gosh i want a devotional i want a devotional so i got her one this is the jesus listens by sarah young i think i have the one is jesus calling that's the one that i have which i love i'd rather like get her something different so that we can send it to each other that's what we'll be doing so this is also hers that she will keep so this will be her gift for tomorrow and then melody got a special very special gift melody has always talked about wanting to expand her perfume collection um and how important that is to her like i think she only really i've only seen melody use her jimmy choo perfume i've seen melody use her dior perfume and like a chanel but she's always talked about wanting more fragrances to her collection so i say you know what that's the perfect gift for you and i love louis vuitton fragrances you guys because you can customize it and put initials or like a little you know a little quick name on the bottle so i engraved it and i put mel which i will show you guys tomorrow when she opens it so i got them to these things and i also wanted to add pajamas tomorrow that's the only thing i'm missing mel does not have a lot of pajamas she claims she does y'all she claims she does but when i'm with her and we do sleepovers and we go on vacation i never see mel in like a pajama set or like a robe so i wanted to go like get her like a nice cute set from like target something cute pink now that i think about it i should have got her a something from skims I feel like I should have either got her one of these robes or that set. But you know what? It's cool. I'm going to get her something from um, Target as like a last minute thing just to add to her gift. Last thing that I got, well, well I didn't really get this. My mom actually, when she went away, they just came back from Vegas. She got me like a little polo sweatsuit. So I'm also going to try this on with the rest of my stuff. Because I don't know if I'm going to wear this to the airport or not. I don't even know what I'm wearing to the airport. For real, for real. But... I don't got to pack much because we only really have one full day. So packing is not really going to be nothing for me. What I need to go do is one, wash my makeup brushes, eat some food, a shower right now. And then I'm going to start fixing up my hair. And yeah, we're going to see what's up. These are some stuff I got. I got these clips from the beauty supply store so that when I curl my hair, I can like hold it. Because the other clips that I have are way too small. And I got me a, a new lace band. Because you know, after a while, everything elastic, it, it starts to like not really be elastic game no more okay you know what i'm saying so sometimes you have elastic stuff and after a while i feel like it loses like that nice stretch that you need so sometimes you just gotta update it and i wish it was from the wig addiction but i don't have any more of mine right now but this was the fit me powder that i bought today from cvs it's the maybelline one um this one is in the color toffee caramel right now like i say i'm gonna go eat shower wash my makeup brushes we're gonna and then we're gonna see yeah. all right later Three hours later. Hey y'all, so it's a little later. I am here. It's actually like, uh, it's 3.40 a.m. right now, 3.39. Y'all, when I tell y'all, once I got off, um, once I stopped talking to y'all, whatever, I was about to take it off the phone. Once I stopped talking to y'all, I had had my little pizza. I ordered me like a little pie from like Papa John's or whatever. A little personal part i laid down to watch some love is blind and when i tell y'all sleep took me over and i just worked uh 72 hours with one day off in between so i worked five days i had one day off and then i worked another day so i really did not have a day off and then today wasn't even really a day off because i had to run errands and then once I finally got home, I said, uh-uh, baby, I just need to relax, okay? So there was really no try on haul for real. I just got up and I packed my stuff. And um, I actually realized, I don't know if you guys remember when I did my try on haul for my birthday trip. But I know when I did that, yeah, I saw like a pink outfit from Finesse. So I ended up just packing that as my pink outfit. And honestly... We're only going to be going out like probably once because it's really a quick trip. So I just put like two extra outfits in there. The hardest thing for me to pack was for real, like my makeup, my hair stuff, and my um, skincare, body care, like that type of thing. Everything else was one, two, three, easy breezy. Then I just went in, flat ironed my hair a little bit and just put some like nice little curls. And I'm done. I got a little pimple here, which is why I got this mighty patch on. But yeah, y'all, I'm basically ready. And I finished it all with time to spare. So I flight boards at... 6 a.m. and if I leave right now I want to get there for like 4 30 because not only do I have clear but when you're flying first class you get to um 
check in at a, like a different section so I don't have to worry about waiting on like a really long line then I have clear so I'm literally going to be going in like one two three so I don't like to just you know sit around in the airport like I just don't want to do that I just want to get on a plane and that's it but I know you have to be there an hour before it boards so that you can check in your bag and I do have a bag I need to check in let me show y'all how, how I packed <laughs> see but this is all for a quick little trip. Before I leave, I'm gonna go stop in my car because I have a tripod in there I wanna get out. And my microphone for this camera is actually in there as well. But yeah, y'all, we about to head out. We about to go on our girls trip. A nice little girls weekend, I'm so excited. Melody is up, she's doing her thing right now. So yeah, since I'm gonna be leaving, I'll probably leave in the next like 10 minutes or so. Um, and then yeah, I'm gonna check in with y'all later. For the like the Giovanni, I don't know if y'all know what heels I'm talking about. But they're so cute. Look at the heels Janae is contemplating. <laughs> you know, I need something with a very short heel because I feel like I have flat feet, so three inches is perfect. And she said these are very comfortable, so I'm about to try them on. Oh right, yeah, look at my heel. These are actually very comfortable. I don't know if y'all can see it. These are actually very comfortable. They I really want these, but I don't like that the back doesn't. Yeah. Oh. Let me see. Sorry, I didn't know you were recording still. Yeah, I don't like the crossover and the thong. The strap, the thong. Uh, they look like a Bottega dude. They don't look that bad. I, I, I would prefer if it was just a thong. So look yeah, what I just yeah. got, y'all. That is so cute. I'm gonna take it off my I remember how this looks. Yes, this is the viral bracelet on TikTok, y'all. Yeah. The the last one, yeah. Right it here. looks so cute. It looks mm -hmm. like a diamond bracelet. I like this. It looks so nice, right? See that ring now too. And then now here's the ring that I just got. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah. That's real cute. Yeah. You make vlogs? Let's go. Huh? You make vlogs? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, y'all. So we're in Sephora. Melody said all she needs is 10 minutes. So we have a timer going right now. Where's Melody? It's you that needs the timer. I'm not buying nothing, honey. I just went to Sephora yesterday. Mel Domain, here she is. Nine minutes on the clock. 
Nine minutes on the clock. You are lip gloss and a benefit um, travel spray. Any travel spray that you think is really good. Travel spray and a setting spray for makeup. Oh, you want? Did you, like just, did you say? Okay, sorry. It could be Anastasia. Anything like a, a, a travel spray. I want that Patrick Ta body um, glow. Let me see your mouth. What's on there? What? Like, Janae, that's, come on, there was a, like, bro, you be OD it sometimes. There was a thing there for you to use. You thought know that was next level big back. All right, y'all, I'm making Janae try the Hourglass Concealer, because when I tell y'all this is the best concealer, y'all gonna see when I use it to do my makeup, but it's so good. She don't want nothing too light. Let me see you. Oh, yeah, that'll be perfect for you. That's a good that color. So good. How you make it look mad good? How much time you got left, Mel? How much time is on the clock? Six minutes. All right. It is a good color. Look at your thing. You don't want nothing too, too bright. Let me see. Put it to your face again. I feel like that's perfect to not give you too much brightness. It's not too dark. No. What's the one next to it? Which one you just what, had? What color was that, Mira? You just had, huh? Yeah, we're good. We could thank you. We just used flash. No. Which one did you just use? Thank you. Thank I have tea. No, I didn't, Miss Ma'am. It was flax. No, 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 no. You're not. You're not. <laughs> you're not. Ten minutes are high. Look, I got this fresh set. I'm like, you know, I'm a fiend for skincare. So I bought I this love fresh, fresh set. I thought uh -huh. this was so cute. I couldn't pick between the. You got a happy birthday gift. I love yes. this for you. So I was like, oh, this is cute. You too. How you knew it was happy? Oh, because I said it. Yeah. And then I'm putting I Janae on because you put me on. Learn one, teach yes, one. So this is the best I concealer in the Melody. You. Put me did on, and let me tell y'all something, y'all. She was oh not God. lying. This is the best. Yes. One. Yes. You don't even need foundation with this. Yes. This, one is really good. this concealer is fire. Show, so this guy's is a really good spray. This is from Benefit. It's a mattifying. It's so so good. So mm -hmm. I, I'm, I did no check on, so I had to get a carry on mm -hmm. spray. That and I good. couldn't choose because they have Tatcha. You know, I love Tatcha's good. Tatcha. Tatcha is like one of the best, very high quality, but it's expensive. This what is, is this? This is a, a dewy set. Yeah, makeup. Melody likes dewy makeup. That's dewy one thing. Melody that loves glowy. dewy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm and a matte girl. Oil. Of course, the rosewood. Rose. She loves your lip oil. You look so cute. You look so cute. Now we make yeah, up shopping for Janae. I'm giving LA vibes. Yeah, you giving like, who's that girl? Yeah, give us some vibes. La, 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 yeah, me too. Are we going out later? Uh, Y'all, <laughs> Melody just farted. <laughs> Yo, you're such a liar. <laughs> Yo, you you really make your voice go make her. I'm going to make my voice go make her. She is. Yeah, <laughs> First of all, stop with the lying word. Let's be very careful with the words that we are using. It was a joke. Y'all, they are so mad. They hate my farts. I'm sorry, but they gave me a milkshake. But we're trying to find a seafood spot to go to. If y'all don't find something, I'm going to go to the barbecue spot. No. Juicy seafood and bar. What about, it says crab pot boil house and oyster bar. Let me look it up on TikTok and see. Crab pot. What's that? Oh, that do look good. What's that? It's <laughs> <laughs> this spot. Crab pot. Called, um, juicy seafood and bar. Let's see. Crab pot, Dallas. Corn potatoes, so spice level. I don't know where we're going to eat at, y'all. We're going to figure it out, and I'm going to check in with y'all later. All right, y'all. We are at Juicy Seafood. I hope this food is good. This is Janae's recommendation. Amira! Was it not? No! no. Whose recommendation was it? Oh, sorry, sorry, I messed it up. It was Melody's recommendation. I ain't want no part. Look, y'all. It looks so good in here. It looks like juicy crab. Mm -hmm. Look at the menu, I think we got both. I know, but y'all got cheese. I'm getting a seafood boil. Yeah, I think I want lobster tail too, y'all. Yeah, small crab legs. Let me see what else they got. Oh, today, what's today? Friday? They have yeah. specials. Ooh, let's see. Oh, no, no specials on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to get the lobster tail. Yeah, they got the lobster tail. Look at the menu. 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 Look at the
gonna do that? I don't know chicken, it needs to be shrimp. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mel, when's the vlog coming? Girl, I'm trying. They wait in. The girls is waiting. Janae, when are you gonna start vlogging? I'm just recording my video. When God tells me to. Hold the camera. Look, so we got some clam chowder. Yum. Might have to take a spoon too. I know you're gonna want some. <laughs> I don't know if y'all know this, yeah, but I me and Mel, Mel definitely put me on to clam chowder. I opened up her taste well, we used to go to That's Red Lobster. This would be all right, Janae. When we went to Red Lobster, y'all, we used to get a whole meal for $16. Yeah. Clam chowder, Caesar yes, salad, yeah. pasta, dessert, and a glass of wine for $20. Yo, what, what the what? Remember? They used to call us bougie in, in, in nursing school. She loved to say that. We went there with y'all? No. No, but every when she heard us say we going to Red Lobster for lunch, she was like, y'all y'all, love going to Red Lobster. Y'all got money, huh? <laughs> It was only $20. Yeah, it was $20. And that food would last us like a day or two. We did. We had leftovers. We, took, we said, let me get um, five biscuits each to go. <laughs> we gave out five biscuits. Yeah. And New York, they would never. In York, they would never. It was good. You want to try? Let me try. Let me try. Hey, that, that came quick. Oh, shit. Let me look at that. Y'all are the quickest. I'll leave this out here. Yeah, that food Our came food out real quick. Our food is here. Yum. We eat this clam chowder. Why is it? Look how big the bag is. Oh crap. Mm. I think that's me, yeah. Sure, huh? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, you can put your lemons in there. Thank you. More potatoes. Thank you. I got a margarita. Mmm. The pound of snow crab legs. Nah, y'all, yeah, this looks so good. Wow, With the shrimp. Right? Yeah. Yes. It looks so good, right? Thank, Thank you. you. Oh yeah, we eat and eat in. Yeah, I know y'all. Mm -hmm. I know that's crazy, but it's a lot of food. Hold on, let me share. I'll take some ranch if you don't mind. Ranch, I'll get you some ranch. And a honey mustard, please. Mustard Thank you so mustard. much. Wow. Oh, I gotta open this. OMG, y'all. Oh, look at the camera fogging up. Oh my god, this smells so good. Woo! My camera fogging. Let's lay it up. Think about Melody. What? She's gonna stretch some food. <laughs> Every time. You want to fry today? Um, they got the fish on top of them. Look at that seasoning. That looks so good, guys. Nice day, thank, thank you. I got a good wrench right here. Look at this fish, guys. Anything else I can get for you guys right here? No, that's all. Thank you so much. She's right, guys. Heavily Father, thank you so much for the food. Slow yeah, down. <laughs> you know when we try to rush my mom, she dragged, the, she dragged the she dragged the prayer a little bit, and then she said, in the name of Jesus, this, 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 yeah, mom? yeah, my mom be kept me extra. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Yo, the way Amira be rushing through prayer, come All on right. now. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Hey, Father, yeah. thank you so much for the food that we are about to eat. Please bless the hands that make this food and allow it to nourish our bodies in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yeah, y'all. Let us eat. Look at this fish. I don't know if the camera's focusing. Y'all, 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 y'all don't care about hand sanitizer. What? What? Girl, Janae, love what? Look at that. Let me get my alcohol wipe out. First of all, Bob, I see you pull out the evil. Listen, I don't never put hand sanitizer on. You're lying. She's like, yo, you're the first one to pick up that square bottle of spray. Janae, what you talking about? You can't even go, y'all. You're trying to. Let me try it. Mm. It don't taste like fish. It don't? It that's too tasty though, man. You gotta take that to go. I'm gonna the bottom. tomorrow. For the event. You probably put fish broth or something. You want to make mustard? Yeah, this fish. All right, let me put a little time for y'all. We got to eat. I can't wait. That's mm -hmm. a happy girl. Mm -hmm. I'm happy when I got that food. <laughs> sure am. Yeah. Yeah, we were on the treadmill tonight. <laughs> we were on the treadmill. That's why I said we should go for a walk after this. I have a 30 minute um, digestion exercise. We could do at home walking. No, we could go for a walk in the park. The man's not doing it. <laughs> I feel like we can do Let's see. I mean, what you think? It's good? It's good? Mm. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> spicy. I know y'all are spicy. This is spicy. What you got, Mal? I got Mal. What? I got Mal. Do y'all see the seasoning on this corn, yo? Look at the steam. Mmm. Mm. It's so good. The corn is so sweet, guys. Look at this potato, y'all. Mmm. -hmm. 
Let me tell y'all the list. So let's talk about where we want to go with you. Like, so everybody say the top three. They want to go. Hey, you go first, and I'm gonna go next. May we should do the seven day trip. I'm gonna tell y'all. In June, I might be going on a trip. But it's, a, it's my it's my friend that I grew up with. She she going to Cancun. Cancun, dirty thirty. Who who friend? What friend? This is a friend. It's always a new friend. Always. She is not a new friend. Melody is that oh friend, y'all, who got mad friends. Like, no, I'm not. She, is, she has so many friends. So, Just the other day, her friend in California was getting married. Oh, yeah? Yo, I'm, dead, yeah, I'm not going no more. Come on. You what? Now, now you change your mind? Yo, she's a family friend. My mom's best friend, um, oh. child. So her, her family, we always on cruises together. Oh. I'm going on, you know, Mexico, trips like that. So she's turning 30. Her family is paying for all of us to go to Mexico to Cancun. That's nice. It'll be a big ass trip. I wanna go to I wanna go to Greece this year. Mokono has a nice resort. Mikanos, they have a nice resort. You know what's crazy? The I food was is so to, good. I booked the trip. I got paid and everything. Mm-hmm. But uh, I don't pay your pay? I'm so confused though. I like y'all just mind. met, y'all was ready to go to Greece. It's about getting Who's really messing with me though on this crab leg stuff? Nobody. Nobody. I'm there. Let me see if I can do it. Mm -hmm. Look at those lobster tail, y'all. Yeah, it's juicy. Eat it. Let's open that up. I made a piece for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Taste the food. About to be eating my food. Are you sure? On this Friday. This food is so good, you guys. Y'all know Lent has started on exactly. Wednesday, so every Friday until Easter, we're not eating meat, which is why we all got fish and seafood today. We were supposed to go to Hutchins barbecue place, but that's what we realized. We cannot eat on Fridays. Okay. And as much as I love chicken, I'm not eating chicken on Fridays. Hey y'all, so we are in Target right now. We just stopped here to get some pajamas real quick. Because one thing about us, we stay in Target, y'all. We stay in Target separately even when we are home. And we stay in Target when we're on vacation. So we just want to get some pajamas for tonight because we're going to have a little girls night. So let's see what they got. I don't see nothing. And we walked over here, y'all. Y'all should be proud of me. They wanted to drive, but I said no. We are not driving. Cause, mm -mm. I don't like any of these pajamas. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Real basic. Though. I want something like cute and satin like this. Satin looks Oh. I don't know, y'all. Janae likes these robes. Oh, this is black. Y'all want to just do robes? No. We could do that. Because I, I feel like I really don't like the. Yeah, they don't have a lot of. <laughs> same ass. They got the same ass pieces that you got. I love I'm those pieces. I, I bought them tonight. Did you bring your I thought on? that's what we were going to wear. No, I brought my Skims robe. I, we could have just wore our pink ones. Nah, we, we need something new. Come on, y'all. Get out of here. Let's do something different. Sorry, sorry. I'm putting this back together. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's just get gray yeah, robes. Get, no, I want to do black. Oh, okay. I already Look, have a black one. So we, wait, that's a nightgown. Are we doing nightgowns? I guess so. You don't have this one, Janae. Let's just match the nightgown. No, yeah. I want to, that's a, Where my small one at? Though? I don't want a small me that. Oh, they don't have small. my size in the black. Can we do um that's small, gray? That's small. Can we do gray, please? Black don't have my size. Do, fine. Please. All right, perfect. I can't wait to lay up in this robe. Mm -hmm. Ooh, what size is that? I'm All right. Oh, yeah, it is. No. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, you got we big titties. Nice and <laughs> Try it on. Put your arm through it and see. Let's see if this fit Mel. Yo, y'all. So that they can switch. Well, you and Janae is probably like the same size. You and Janae is like the same size. Oh yeah, get a medium. Yeah, this one fit nah, nice. Nah, Janae's <laughs> Girl, bye. You thick too. I'm thick too. You right? No, nah, I don't like how Janae oh, thick. Look at, look at this. I don't like. Yeah, no, nah, I want the tight look and the sexy. You, you know? don't like how that fits? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> That's how we draw. I like it. I don't like this. You're not getting it? No, I like this. Of course you like it. Yours fit better. You can be ready. All right, y'all, so we decided that Mel was going to get the extra small, and we're just going to stop at another Target <laughs> on the way home to get Janae's extra small. These are some hoochie mamas. They like their robes tight. I got all like my robes real big and comfy. But now we're about to go get um 
What are we gonna get? Yeah. Wine and a game for and tonight. Some non-alcoholic wine. Hi. 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 I love Ken. <laughs> That's what I be doing to Kobe. Emma, <laughs> you know what I was thinking about when we was in nursing school and I had to do that presentation for the kids. Y'all remember? Oh when? yeah. Remember? We all, we all did. Right? We had to do like the presentation for them kids. Yeah. When? In nursing school, we was in that room. Remember? Yeah, and I was jumping. Yeah. yeah, and I was jumping up, up and down. The OBG was maternal. Yes. Right? Yes. Oh, yeah, I remember that girl. I remember you yours so was much good. Project. Mine was so yeah. good. Oh, look, let's get Deep Friends Edition. Ooh. You had the one for couples? Yeah, I had the couples one. That's a perfect one. Let's get deep. <laughs> <laughs> or, oh, this could be for our... Most who's likely. more likely? Game time. Let's Wake up with a burrito. All right, we could do these two. Or y'all just want to do Let's Get Deep. Um, I like when trying the most likely I like the Let's Get Deep. All right. <laughs> Because the one, this is a really good game, y'all. For you and your man, even uh, me, Mel, and Janae played this together. But we're going to do the Friends Edition tonight with some wine. Now it's time to get wine. Yes. Um, All right, y'all. We're getting some yeah. wine. Oh, that's, yeah, that's that is champagne. Black Girl Magic. Oh, you want the cans for today? La Rosa. Hmm. I don't know, y'all. Why, the can have more alcohol? <laughs> <laughs> what? No, it's just cute, so you know, have your own. Oh, they got a skinny margarita. Hey, y'all, we off this. We got our stuff. Let's go to our. We're about to go to a pottery class, which was my idea, so I'm really excited about it. And yeah, we're gonna do something different. We are doing more like activities because before we just used to do hookah, drinks, food. So now we're trying to do like more fun stuff. So we're going to go do a pottery class. And then I think after that, we're just going to go home, shower, get in our robes, and just have a girl's night in with some hookah. I'm so excited. So, yeah, I'm going to check in with y'all once we get to the pottery class. So we were not able to go and if we were gonna go we would have been like 35 minutes late and at that point we would have missed the demonstration and all the things that are like are actually very important for the class. So we ended up just coming home. We were kind of deciding what we wanted to do because I wanted us to go make some permanent bracelets. Um, and then Janae had an idea like she wanted to go bowling but that didn't work out. So right now they're actually in the living room and they're um, laying down. I'm like this is the perfect opportunity their gifts in my suitcase y'all i'm not gonna lie that, that chick-fil-a milkshake that we had earlier has my stomach turned and when i tell you i can't stop farting i'm sorry to say it's probably tmi pl but i am <laughs> every corner they're staying away from me so they think i'm actually in here using the bathroom psych <laughs> even though i was trying to use the bathroom y'all it would not come out i said well i'm forcing it i don't even force my hand to ponytail baby <laughs> I said, you know what? It's the perfect opportunity to just like put their gift together and like bring it to them out there. So let me show y'all what I got them. We got their gifts. I gotta make sure I'm on the door. So I'm gonna go. Like so much other expenses that I have to like take care of that I said you know what 
let me just get them things that I know they would want and it's so crazy because Melody started talking about um, perfume like while we were here she's like oh my god yeah I want some perfume while we're in the mall perfect and Janae also does not have jewelry to wear with her her um, outfit for tomorrow so I'm like perfect and Melody also talked about wanting a lip gloss so it's like everything I got them was exactly what they needed and you know normally I like to just go a little harder for my friends like I like to buy my friends bags and all of those things but you know circumstances are changing and y'all know I've been budgeting I've been real more like responsible with my finances and I just don't want to like be irresponsible anymore you know but the time will come when I'm able to buy all my friends they two three thousand dollar bags but we're we gonna put that on hold for now okay so we about to go out there about to get some tickets let's go happy birthday Give y'all y'all gifts because y'all thought I was in there blowing it up. I didn't even blow it, it up. Was. I did not even blow it up. Dang. Oh man, I wish I got you. Like, can you walk back out, come back in and <laughs> <laughs> For you and Janelle, just you. For me and Janelle, that was so cute. Oh yeah, let me take a video. Alright. Wow, you are so, you're something, you know right. that? Are you so right, ready? In my past life, thank you. Most likely. <laughs> 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 Most princess would make a great cougar. Mel. You think I would make a great cougar? Yeah. Why did I say that? Because you're word? sweet, you're nice. No. I don't, I don't feel like Janae would work with younger men. Well, probably you would, actually, because you always have an excuse for somebody. This is 
Janae is OD. If y'all would have saw her face. Can I, can I get a napkin, please? You need a bit. Shut up. It's down to cook a little mess. <laughs> Mel? <laughs> Mel for sure. Mel for sure. Now. Has old person tendencies, Amira. Yeah, I could, I could take that. Old, old person. person tendencies. Because I love being home. Maybe that's an old people thing. This one says tries to act rich. I don't think that's any of us. Yeah. I think we all live say, within our means. Like. Yeah. Ma, are you even game. listening? I am. I would say I started gaining weight around like 10, 11 years old. I started eating fine comfort and food. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's on top of that, I love to bake and I love to cook. Mm -hmm. My mom was always like, you cook. Yeah. Me. My mom was always working. That's where comfort for me as a younger kid taking care of my older siblings. Like, I was always the person that had to clean the house, wash the dishes. Food. My brothers, when they was when I was outside playing games, little kid, like yo, come inside, we gotta eat dinner, we gotta make dinner. Like that's how my brothers was. Like that's what I grew up in. And then it was one day I just snapped and I told my mom, I'm not making no more dinner. I'm not making no breakfast. I'm not doing nothing. I know that's I right. My stuff. But I was like, I felt even though my mom gave me like a little tip here and there, I just felt like like my childhood was being robbed from me. Yeah. So I just told I'm not doing it no more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry to cut you off. I just want to show you real quick what it looks like. I know you like that. Oh, that look good. That yeah. look good. No, that yeah. look good. Damn, yeah. yeah, that look good. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Go ahead, Janae. Who's more likely to? This one opens up 3 a.m. Please come holla at me if you want to come check me. Yeah. <laughs> Makes terrible first impressions. <laughs> Probably Janae. Y'all was the same. You very awkward. And then you'll you make awkward faces sometimes. Like, Janae, you don't want to talk about the yeah. answer. you to be a little socially awkward sometimes. Yeah, but I'm trying to not have that label on myself anymore because I just feel like that's the devil. You think that's the devil? Yeah, I feel like I, I can't do certain things no more because I feel like people are going to judge me and they're going to be like, oh, you're just being weird. Like, you're just being weird. Yeah. Like, oh, okay, sorry. Then maybe we should have never read that card. Let's just move on. Okay. Sorry. Shakes people for going to bed. Melody. Oh, my Word. God. No, Melody. you Melody. do. Night, I really felt jaded of that night. Like I really was. One night, I one night. Over it, over it. But one that night, 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 y'all had all plans. Like, yeah, like I felt like y'all got all y'all plans that y'all want to do. And the moment my time, oh, everybody put their fucking bonnets on, their fucking robes, looking like fucking grandmas going to see the 8:30. Like that shit was pissing me off. Like I was like, what the fuck? Like y'all got all y'all plans that y'all want to do. And the moment my time, oh, everybody put their fucking bonnets on, their fucking robes, looking like fucking grandmas going to see the 8:30. That's crazy. I'm just yeah. Now. The instructions on this card give us that play if you hate your friends. This, no this is what it says. The first right here. Look. Look, y'all. No what does it say? What does it say? No I don't even see it. That part, I feel. Best it's for it. players uh, who hate their friends. And do y'all see what it's doing? We'll only speak to you via text. I feel like we all stay on the phone. Yeah. We'll tremble and get on Black Friday. <laughs> That's probably me. I'm not going to lie. I'm sorry. It's a no. And you, Janae, get out of here. Janae, do you take Janae pictures? Janae don't photo. take one and picture. Janae will be like, ah, it's not good. You know why I feel like that? Because I feel like I never take pictures as, as a younger girl. I want more memories. Because you know my aunt told me? She told me she was such a beautiful girl like growing up. And now that she's older, she's mm -hmm. like in her 70s. Yeah. She regrets not having those pictures in her 20s or 30s. Yeah. Or 40s. Like, so it made me look back. I can't be that person. Like, I need pictures for everything. Yeah. yeah. That's understandable. Yeah, my exactly. camera is overheating. We about to finish up this game, and I'm gonna check out pictures.
later as you can tell we got up and i'm so proud of us for going to the gym because i feel like every trip that we go on we always say like oh we want to go to the gym we want to go to the gym but this morning we woke up around six something and we all just got up and went we had a really good workout this morning then we came back and also started getting ready y'all the makeup is eating what and we started getting ready for the event so the event like i told y'all is with soft life through christ um they are women who are in christ obviously so it's like a woman's empowerment event i don't know if it's all women like i don't even know that but it's called she who believed so i'm assuming it's for women and they have like women panelists so let me show you the outfit because the attire is all pink okay so i have on ooh, is my camera dirty sorry y'all so I have on this set. This is a set that I got from Finesse. I don't know if y'all remember this, but I actually showed y'all this on my um my try on haul when I was going to Dubai for my birthday. And yeah, I just feel like it's so cute. It has the little feathers on the sleeve. The waist is wasting. Yeah. I'm about to throw that on with my black heels. I only brought black heels. Remember yesterday we were in Steve Madden. I was supposed to get like some gold so that I probably could have worn my Louis Vuitton bag with it. But I'm just wearing black bag, black heels. We're about to go get some food because we're starving. But let's see. Look at Janae's outfit. Don't mind the bathroom, y'all. We're just girls and <laughs> we're getting ready. Janae's outfit is so cute. It's giving. First lady. Yes. It's giving. Let me see Mel. Me and Mel kind of have on the same right pink. Now, yeah, I must eat some of that too. Me yeah, and Mel yeah. got on the same thing. It looks so yeah, cute. Like and she's wearing which one? Oh, yeah. The gold one. These? Oh, no. Those over there. Yeah, so Mel's yeah. going to be wearing those gold ones. Yeah, like and Janae's wearing this better. one. Hey, y'all. We about to head out. It's time to go. We looking good. We smelling good. Smelling and great. I'm just so excited for this event. Like, it's supposed to be a vibe. I'm going to bring out with me, of course. That's, thank God I'm bringing a bigger bag. Lip combo. Mm-hmm. Mm. I hate when it happens when we live combo. Ooh, but yeah, y'all. Alright, we're about to just eat real quick. We gotta go get some food from Panera and I'm gonna catch up with y'all when we get there. Yeah, so we just got to the event. We had stopped at Panera Bread real quick for setting in. And we literally had to eat it in the car because we were running late. But we are about to head in. It's 11 55. The event starts in five minutes. So we gotta register and go. So let's go. Now this is so key because the prophet 
literally said, by tomorrow, and I feel like that can be many of us in our life, by tomorrow, God is ready to move. Yeah. By tomorrow, you'll be able to conceive. By tomorrow, it may be even be your birthday to be able to give birth. So you just have to be able to believe and believe that you are worthy to even carry a gift. Believe that you are worthy to conceive. And if you don't, like I said, you will reject it. And a board will guide you in your life. And I once heard a wise woman say that you will only experience God at the level that you believe in Him. So if you believe that God can do these things in your life, it can surely happen. In order to give birth, there have to be some level of intimacy. Right? So when we think about intimacy, we must think about it as in marriage, right? We're married to God, of course. We're brides. So with that being said, we have to view it as such. So even how you approach your husband will be different than how you approach your friends or your family members. It's more of like a reverence, and then there's a deeper intimacy that takes place as well. So I just wanted to give you guys a few tips of how to cultivate intimacy with God. And the first thing is your environment. You must set the mood, and these are not in order at all. You must set the mood, just like when, you know, married folks are about to fellowship, they begin to set the mood. They might dim the lights a little bit. It has to be like that with God. We have to silence the distractions. We can't be on um, creating emails or playing the video game when we're trying to talk to God. You know? So even if you have to set aside an hour a day, whether you have children or if you're married, maybe it may be an hour before they wake up or about an hour before you have to send them to school. Just do whatever it takes to prioritize God. You cannot expect anyone else to do it for you. I was reading this book, and she basically said that God revealed to her that she was the only one designed to meet her husband's needs. When you think that someone else's relationship with God is all you need, like you're going to be saved by your grandmother's prayers. Now granted, the prayers of the righteous are better than God. However, you must accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Lastly, I want to add this as well. And it's to not let the enemy condemn you. When you're trying to come into the presence of God, you don't want to come with the shame and the guilt that the enemy is trying to whisper in your ear. You come saying, the blood of Jesus has paid the price. And that is the truth. And God stands on his word, right? But you can't have any other idols in your life. you got to let God sit on the throne of your heart when you're trying to cultivate intimacy with him. You can't serve God and serve money. You have to choose this day, today, February 7th whom you will serve, okay? So do away with the idols. We can't be no longer adulterous wives, or prostitutes, rather. And I just want to add a little to intimacy and just show you guys how the natural truly reflects the spiritual. And like what I said, how do you become intimate with God? And the answer is you, will, you must seek the Lord with all of your heart. And in scripture, Jeremiah 29, 13, it says, you will seek me and you will find me when you seek me with all of your heart. Not just some of your heart, not just a fragment or portion, but all of your heart. And also in James 4, 8, it says, come near to God and he will come near to you. You don't just have to take our word for it. You must truly open up the Bible and get to know the God you serve. And when I was going over this, God literally put on my heart like when I said it's it's like a husband. It's a level of intimacy that you have to be with your husband and able uh, to be able to conceive. And just like when you have a man, you start learning his ways, picking up on his lingo. And that is how it is with God, too. We have to learn his ways. God, what do you like? God, what don't you like? And when I said picking up on his lingo, that is the word of God. Yeah. You start talking like God. Yeah. And it's also, um, I, I hear a lot of people say this, but they're like, you've been together with someone so long, you start looking. And that's how it is God. We're going to start looking like Him. We're going to truly seek Him with all of our heart. Into pregnancy now. Now you don't mean into it. Now you're pregnant, right? But I want us to allow this to serve as encouragement to you all. When you find out that you are pregnant with something, as all of you guys are here, right? I want you guys to ask God, what makes this one different? What makes this one unique? What sets me apart? Because there's probably many of you in here that God may have said, a podcast, do a podcast, right? Or write a book, right? So some of you guys may have gotten the same thing, but no two podcasts are the same. What would this gift bring to the table that's unique and different? Right. Amen. I also wanted to address barrenness. Let's 
say there's some women in here, right? You've been intimate with God. You've been praying. You've been fasting. You've been doing everything you know to do. But you still can't find yourself. You still don't know what your gift is. You still don't know if you have given birth, if you're pregnant, or whatnot. And I want to let you know, deliverance is your portion today. Somebody say, it's our portion. It's our portion. So just like you, whoever feels in this room that they are barren, you've been praying, you've been fasting. I want to let you know, and I say this humbly speaking, that the anointing in this room between us, between the guest speakers, between many of the women, yeah. it will break the yoke. All demonic yes. yoke. Yes. Amen. Amen. You all will conceive naturally. I want this to serve as encouragement. You won't have to go to no witch doctors. You won't have to go to no uh, fetish priests. You don't need IVF. You will conceive naturally in this room. Be healthier. Just do it all. Exercise. Trying to make sure my baby is healthy. And that is how it is spiritually as well. We have to eat better. We have to eat on the word of God. We can no longer eat or drink the things of the world. Uh, and when I say drink the things of the world, I never thought about liquor, poison. We can no longer take poison in our bodies because it would contaminate our baby. I couldn't fit my clothes no more. I couldn't wear the same clothes. And that is how it is in Christ. You can no longer fit into those old garments. You can no longer wear them. You have a new garment. It is white. It is washed white like and I couldn't go certain places no more. I'm big with a belly. I can't hang around certain friends anymore. They started to scatter. And that's how it is spiritually as well. Your friends will scatter. You can't do the same things, go the same places anymore. It is truly a time. For pregnancy is a time to mature. A time to focus on the woman that God is calling you to be. The woman that you are becoming. A new mom. You're about to bring life into the world. Pregnancy will truly, truly change you. To give birth, right? And for us, labor pains can look like spiritually, like you're getting a lot of pushback. It's starting to hurt, it's starting to become painful. And I had to really um, plead to God and pray and fast to break whatever was trying to come up against me because God has spoken a word and surely it had to come to pass. And I knew for me I was not going to fumble that word. And I know for the same for you guys as well. And the labor pains is like the wilderness season. It's going to be a lot of pushback, like she just said. And it's because the devil knows that something is on the way. He might not know exactly what it is, but he just knows, sniffing around like a line, knowing that something is on the way. He will try to, he will try to attack you. He will send people to attack you because he still feels it's a chance to abort. That will tempt him in every way. And guess what Jesus replies? It is written. It is written. And when the devil trying to come, you know, bother us, guess what we gonna reply? It is written. It is written in the name of Jesus. Say it. Get ye behind me in the name of Jesus. Um, but before I get into the word, I just want to give honor to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are in this room. We acknowledge you in this room. We give you thanks. We give you praise. We give you adoration, Lord. We just pray, Lord, that you will use my lips of clay, O oh God, and that you will just cause any demonic activity that is trying to come upon this conference or upon this word will be broken tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus. May your will be done, O oh Father. May your will be done, and may heaven be glorified, and may hell be mortified in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. So I love the name of this conference, She Who Believed. And I love it because um, in our anchor scripture, Luke 1, 45, we see Elizabeth prophesying to her cousin Mary and telling her that she is blessed because she believed the word that God had spoken over her concerning the birth of Jesus. What is belief? The Oxford Dictionary would define belief as an acceptance that a statement is true, having trust, faith, and confidence in someone or something. Okay? So what we need to understand that it is possible to have belief and not have faith, but it is impossible to have faith and not first have belief. I look so beautiful. This is just so amazing. I just love what these ladies are doing. I think it's incredible. And I'm gonna have you guys riding today and I'm gonna walk around the room, so be prepared for me to call you out. Okay? Before I get into the key scripture, is Romans 8.18. And I want to go to this, and prophetically what I want to tell you is that the Lord is saying creation is waiting for you to be revealed. The things that God has put on the inside of you, God is saying that you are about to be revealed.
world. And I want to read Romans 8.18 to you. And it says, uh, from the New King James Version, For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. You can't see it, but you know it's there. Right? I'll pray over y'all. I want you to stand because I want you to shake stuff off of you. I just thank you for all of these women, God. I just thank you that the day has come for them, the set time has come for them to be delivered in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you that anything that is blocking them from giving birth to the things that you place inside of them, God, we, I just pray that you remove them and highlight it to them, God, whatever it is, whatever may be in their bloodline, God, that they don't even know about, God, I pray that you highlight it to them and bring it up in the name of Jesus. Amen. Look, y'all, we just came to Shake Shack and got some food. Mm -hmm. We on our little lunch break. You don't eat pork like that either, but when it comes to bacon fries, you do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everybody pick and choose when it comes to pork. Everybody. <laughs> I don't pick and choose. Y'all know I don't care. I like my pork. Yum. Mm. This section is called Chit Chat. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be about our panel. We'll be chit chatting and. It's so beautiful that today we will be interviewing our mother. <laughs> her first time sharing her testimony.
nothing that you possibly ever did in your life. And I say it with my heart. There is no sin that he cannot forgive you for. Jesus' blood has washed you and cleansed you from all that. But just remember the key word that he tells us. He says, repent. Right. Don't sin no more. Right. And that just means that don't go back into that same thing. So that day that I surrender, I know that Tiffany, you can't go back in. Everybody pop up. Remember this morning. Use the cutoff of the stage as your guideline. So if you're past the stage on the outside, it's going to be a photo. Next one, we're gonna do like a video thing. So try to measure it out really quick, my bad. Or those. All right. One, two, smile. <laughs> On three. Y'all know what y'all saying, right? Yeah. So it's a little later. We actually got back from the event not too long ago, probably like an hour ago, if that. And we, excuse <coughs> me, thank you. <coughs> oh, excuse me. We immediately started getting ready because we're about to actually head out to dinner. So we are going to Ocean Prime tonight to just get a little full. And this weekend flew by so quickly because like our trip is basically over tonight, and tomorrow we all go back. Well, me and Mel go back home but the event was so good y'all like it was so 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 good i hope from the clips that i got that you all learned something but i will like talk to you guys more about it and everything that i learned maybe tomorrow when i get home or maybe even tonight when we get back from dinner because right now we're actually rushing you got new um, heels huh? you got new clear like the one you wear earlier yeah but they're they're um what's the curve they're not bad they're better than the shoes that was wearing Anything, yo, that, anything with a stiletto here is not for me. Like, it needs to have a platform. Can't wait to do my little voiceover tonight so I can post it on TikTok beyond and put it in here. But yeah, the event was like so good, y'all. So These good. cannot hurt. There's no fucking way. These? Look no way. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, y'all. All right, y'all. We about to head to dinner, oh, Ocean so Prime. Like so when we get back, we'll do a little talk talk about the event and everything. Let me show you. This is a little outfit from from the Nova. You know what I'm saying? A little calm, little two piece. Because the other dress that I had, I was actually getting dressed on live, and they were saying it was way too short. And I cannot lie, y'all, it was very short. Like I I don't like to wear things where I feel like if I move, if I even breathe wrong, my butt is gonna be out. I don't like to wear things where like I'm constantly fixing it. Y'all know those type of outfits where you like just this outfit. Constantly fixing it. Yours is actually not that bad though. Mine's my whole butt would have been out. Like go even while I was walking away from Mel, and Mel was like, "No, that's way too short." Like I don't like outfits like that where I'm so self conscious. Like I just don't like that. So yeah, we ain't doing that. Not tonight. Not never. We all got our heels no, on. Really dying, like. I'm weak that they saw the lie. Yeah, she's like. <laughs> it's here. Oh yeah, we about to head out. It's girls' night. Let's go!
to the vocals. Yes to the vocals. I know that's right. I just want gas. Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> Like that was so whack. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was whack. Y'all are not even funny. How do you feel? Y'all thought y'all ate. It's not y'all today. No, because you weak over there, bro. <laughs> no, that was whack. Ooh, tomato, tomato, bro. Yo, Mira. Oh my god. That's a cool quarter set right there. Just seeing ring lights. How is everything you enjoying? Yeah, everything is good. Thank what you. Is check, please. Yeah. All right, ladies, so we're home, and as we are unwinding for the night, let's tell the vlog two or three things that we learned from the conference today. Ooh. Uh, not Zoom, like, not like everything, not be lukewarm if you want to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, Maybe we can look at you, no book then. Be a lukewarm. Uh, what about she who believes? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, she said that faith, like, Believing doesn't require faith, but faith requires believing. Believe. That's mm -hmm. a fact. I agree. That's um, totally. Because in order for you to have faith, you have to believe. What are you having faith in if you don't believe in that? Mm -hmm. um, something that I learned today is my ear gates and my eye gates mm -hmm. are very important. And you can worship God 98% of the time, but that 2%. We'll that you, hold you back. Yeah. yeah, that you're lukewarm in, whether that's in secular music, whether that's in cursing, lying, stealing, substance, whatever it is that can hold you back from like the full potential that God has for you. So it's just important that when you surrender, you surrender a hundred percent. And there's a Bible scripture that says anyone who picks up the cross and looks back is not fit for the kingdom of God. Look what happened to Lot's wife. Turn into a pillar of salt. For looking back on her old life. So. And also, I thought it wasn't even only looking back on her old life, but not obeying oh, God. Yeah. God specifically gave you strict commands, yeah. and you did not That's just like Eve. Like, yeah. God, <laughs> God, God gave a specific instruction yeah, and said, like, you can eat from it. any tree you want, but just do not eat yeah, from that tree it. right and there. She and she right allowed there. herself to be deceived by somebody else, you know? By something, like, else. By something yeah. else that was causing deception. And we know God is not a God of confusion so yeah. that person coming to her should have never you know made her yeah that was from that tree it was the devil i love how they discussed like your relationship with god as a pregnancy and a in a, oh, yeah. a marriage they talked about like being like intimate with god and then like setting the mood and the environment mm -hmm. and then like you know just having your one-on-one -on -one time and then becoming pregnant and not literally pregnant with a baby but like with the holy spirit and you know, then they talked about uh, your pregnancy kind of being like your wilderness season sometimes. I love the mom's testimony. Yeah. Yeah, I knew she went through some shit when I seen her. What? I knew it. You think so? Like, I just I would have never tell. been able to tell she was selling narcotics. I knew she was, I, I, I've seen so much. I feel like I just knew I she was doing tell something that on negative. Her. And the way she talked, too, she had a little hood in her. I couldn't have told that. But also yeah you're right she wasn't in drugs she just sold she just it that's what i'm saying but even with that you're involved in a drug lifestyle so i can just tell she was in there remember i've just been around that so i just i just seen it and then just like the way she talked and everything she had a little bit of science to her the conference was a really good conference very successful conference. I want to include that part I said right there. It was a very good conference. We learned a lot. We and were filled with a lot of grace and Holy Spirit. Yeah. yeah. So what are y'all going to do differently now that, like when you go home and stuff? Not listening to music, like certain types of music. Just, I'm going to do more people. fasting. So go ahead and like break first. I want to yeah. do more fasting. Um... I want to do more prayer time and being more intentional. Like, I know I'll be having to wake up early for work, but if I could just set five to ten minutes aside earlier to wake up and scroll yeah. on my phone, I could set five to ten minutes to wake up and be in prayer. Because I feel like my day goes so much better. My day goes so much better when it I actually like, pray and set the like, mood for my day. One thing I like to do is, like, when I'm going to work, or even before I lay, like, if I'm laying in bed about to get up, I, I try to just be like, God, like, just 
you know, bless my hands, bless me and my people. No, I do that, but I'm talking about actually getting up and prayer. yeah, like I don't like that lazy prayer sometimes. No, I'm not saying like, lazy, but I'm saying even though I'm saying, I'm saying this for now, me. I'm saying like yeah, for me, it's like every day I try to make it different, like intentional. Like God, I'm happy. Before I did feel like I was just doing careless prayer, like kind of repetitive, but now I feel like I'm more and and more intentional. Like when I'm waking up. Be, every day is different. Everything that I just like they were saying, every no twenty four hours is the same. So I'm more so seeking guidance for each and every day, specifically based off of what no, my heart No, that's not what feels. I was talking about. I know. I'm about to say that's how I'm feeling. Oh. But, but as far as my intentions, like waking up, my my I'm talking about to just actually careless, being more intentional like, with my time with God and planning yeah. it and stop being like. I, like I just I don't know I just need to get up and really be intentional with my day. Yeah. Not even about what I'm praying about. It's just and that's old P. That's why. No, I clean my toilet before y'all came. I'm not saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm but today we've all been this. peeing all weekend, so that's what I know. Mean. That's all I was saying. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying that you're dirty. Yeah, you clean your toilet. Yeah. Damn, Janae. <laughs> you wipe it throw it out there, you still using it? It's still sitting there. <laughs> That's like me, I'm not gonna I'll be using it. I'm not gonna leave it. I'm just using it for real. It. But know. how long has that shit been there, Janae? Be real. <laughs> you use it. I bet you should use the other one. Like it's nothing. Alright, that let's get that hooker together. So Janae, what do you want to do differently? Um Be more intimate with God. Yeah. Like, I could do it Like, they, when they, they were saying, like, Lord, I ain't getting up, so I hear your voice. I feel like I never say that, because what if I sit there for five hours? Hang on. You know where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> you see, though? I smell it again. No, Mary, you farted? Yeah, I smell fart. I'm going to go to the toilet. They fighting over the hookah, y'all. Get real. On a serious note, y'all, I think I might be lactose intolerant. <laughs> <laughs> it's so real. Like, I don't know what's going on, but like every time I eat or drink lactose, like we had a milkshake and I could not stop farting. Now I know this is TMI, but I could not stop farting and then what else did we just have? We just had ice cream and like mac and cheese and it's the same thing like every time I eat something that has like milk or cheese or dairy period, my stomach just Thank does not agree here. with it. Yeah. I'm take off all my makeup yeah and I feel like I had too much makeup on to just go lay on Janae's pillow Janae got white um white pillows and white sheets I'll be disrespectful now I just feel like I just be hearing for it <laughs> like y'all are off that's why I'm not traumatized or maybe I am you have to be if you still hear it even when it's not there and they hold
good morning guys it's the next day it's actually the last day i'm about to head to the airport my flight is at 10 and uh it's 809 right now so we're all about to head to the airport Mel, um janae is gonna drop me off mel's gonna come as well me and mel have different flights because uh mel had booked a different flight and when she tried to change it they were trying to charge her all types of fees and stuff like that so she kept her later flight so it'll just be me i definitely had to make sure i was home by a reasonable time because I still have to unpack, clean, grocery shopping, meal prep, all the things to prepare for my week. And I really want to make a green juice tonight. So yeah. And I have so much food. Yeah, I have my seafood boil. Um what you call it? What am I gonna say? Oh yeah, I still have my seafood boil. I still have my um, steak. I have so much food, so I don't even have to eat really tonight. Like buy anything tonight. I really just want to make my green juice and like go to Trader Joe's for some stuff or even Whole Foods. But um, yeah, I'm gonna head out. We'll go to the airport this weekend. Was so much fun, and I'm gonna catch up with y'all later. Hey y'all, so I literally just got home. My camera fell as always. So if y'all see it's just a little foggy, I'm so sorry. But yeah, yeah, I just got home from Dallas. Um, I plan on doing an entire montage when like on my way home, you know, just to set the vibe coming back to New York. But I started catching up on TikTok. And I was, as I was scrolling on TikTok and like catching up on what's new, I seen that there was a girl, a woman, her name is Risa Tisa, that's her username. And she started doing a whole story time on who did I marry? <laughs> who the did I marry? To be more specific. And it's basically a whole entire story time on, you know, I don't want to say too much because I want you guys to go watch it. Let's get our girl her views, let her get her little coin. So make sure y'all go watch it. But in a nutshell, like I, I don't, I won't go into all the details. She's just basically talking about her marrying a pathological liar and a narcissist and like unfolding everything. And when I tell y'all, it's like 52 parts. I'm only on part like 20. And she is such a good storyteller. She is straight to the point. And she's giving you all the details. It is so interesting. And I know it may be entertainment for a lot of people. However, I do think it's just so eye-opening. Because I feel like men are very dangerous. They are dangerous people. And sometimes you never know what, every, what anyone else is going through in their relationship. Because she says she had the mindset like, oh, what goes on at home stays at home. So you never know what how much women she's probably helping by telling this story and i know like i said a lot of people see it as entertainment and it's just gossip and it's fun but i just find it so intriguing like the lengths that men will go to to deceive women like i'm just I, i'm just appalled y'all and i'm only on part 20 and it's just like it just keeps getting interesting and interesting and more and more and it's just like i feel so bad because for me personally i'm an empath and i can feel how traumatic this is even her telling the story you could tell like in her eyes and when she sighs and she's just like ugh. She's even telling the parts where it makes her look bad, you know what I'm saying? But I just feel like in these type of situations, like I was just reading through the comments and I'm like, dang, a lot of people are not really giving her grace. They're like, it could never be me. It could never be me. But I just feel like you just never know if it's going to be you. Like this specific situation, like what I'm reading, this man had so many receipts and things to back up a lot of the things that he was saying. So it's easy to say like, oh, it would never be you. But when you're in it, that's why they say love is blind. When you're in it, it's so hard to see clearly um it's so hard to like i don't know like i just personally i i, I know in certain situations i do say it can never be me like some things that you'd be seeing it's like come on that was 100 percent preventable you know but situations like this where somebody is a narcissist and a pathological liar 
I'm sorry. It could it could be anybody. It literally could be anybody. But that's just my opinion. Like I'm just watching it and I'm just like, wow, like this was crazy. So that's why I just got so sidetracked from the uh, montage. I was like, let me just record this take off. Baby, I paid for some Delta Wi-Fi. I said, oh no, I'm staying up. Even though I did fall asleep on a flight anyway. But at least while I was eating my meal, I was watching. I watched it for the first like hour of the flight like to catch up. That's how I got up to like part 20. But, um, yeah, y'all, I haven't even been on my For You page. I haven't scrolled. I haven't even went through my notifications because I've been hung up on this story. But I just got home. Um, I'm about to just order my groceries. I need to order some stuff to make a green juice because I need a green juice, y'all. I had curry on the plane. Like, it was like a chicken curry, like, in white rice. And I just, feel, I still taste it when I'm burping. And it's making me feel a little sick. So, yeah, I'm about to just go lay down for a little bit. Maybe just for, like, an hour because it's already 4 o'clock. And I need to, um, my green juice. I need to prepare my stuff for work. I have lots of things that I need to do. So, yeah, I'm about to just lay down for a little bit. Let this stomach ache wear off. I don't know if it's stomach ache or, like, cramps. But I just do not feel well. So yeah, yeah, I just ordered my groceries. I just ordered like some green juice stuff, water, and fruits. I already got breakfast bowls in there, thank God. I already have my meal prep here for lunch, thank God. And what else? Um, and that's really it. So yeah, when my thing comes, I'm just gonna make my green juice or whatever the case. But yeah, y'all, this story time is crazy. I don't even know how I'm losing my voice for real, but I'm only out for like an hour, maybe like 5 30 or 6. I'll get up, unpack, get my uniform together, make my green juice. And yeah, but I really hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. I really enjoyed the event in Dallas. I just feel like it was just so renewing and eye-opening. And I'm just encouraging all of you guys to really get closer to God. Like, I feel like there is nothing in this world like it. Like, nothing is more fulfilling. And, you know, God is still working on me. I'm a work in progress every single day. I'm not sitting here and saying I'm perfect. So I, I do feel like I be seeing some comments and people just be like, oh, you're a big Bible reader. You should know this. You should know that. And let me let you know something. Who are you to judge? That's why it just makes you feel like this is why a lot of people don't like to post personal things and sacred things on social media. But I feel like because I'm a content creator, I kind of feel like I have to. I kind of feel like I owe you guys that. But I see why people keep so many parts of their life private because... Because now you see somebody getting closer to God and in their faith, it's like you're just, you become, people are just becoming so judgmental. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's absolutely sad. Like all judgment is, is a lack of knowledge. That's all it comes down to. When someone judges you, it's all because it's a lack of knowledge. It's nothing more. <clears throat> it's nothing more. It's nothing less. So I've learned that like, I really don't care how anyone perceives me. I really just don't care about the negativity. The only person's opinion I'm like so hung up on is god like that's the only person who who i who i just 100 percent care about their opinion and their view of me you know what i'm saying because i feel like if you're not god if you're not jesus who are you for real to judge anybody anyway anyway i'm about to just go lay down real quick y'all eat relax um i'm about to start working on this vlog because i know y'all want this vlog I don't know if I'm going to get it done tonight, but I'm going to get it done for y'all, okay? So, I'm going to check in with y'all in the next vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See y'all later.